Well, Zara. <laughs> ben. Thank you so much for spending the time with us. You've got a busy schedule. I really appreciate it. Greatest pleasure. Love it. Just and for you. Mate, I, I wanted to kick something off, um, kick this off with you by asking you a question that Peter Thiel has asked. And that is, what is a strong belief you hold that isn't mainstream? <laughs> ah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of technology out there. Mm -hmm. And we all talk about disruption. Yep. But the most disruptive force on Earth I think is culture. And culture, we can basically grab it yep. in the way of collective awareness. The thing that happens when we suddenly all have an opinion about something that is dramatically different from yesterday. So for example, like the moment that, that uh, Elon Musk yep. put the cyber truck on stage, yes. it was, you had to decide, yep. are you for it? <laughs> are you <laughs> loving it, even though it's insane? <laughs> yeah. Or are you against, against it? it. So yep. there was no, basically in between, you didn't in have between, the yeah, option yeah. to have done it. Yep. Just like for weeks, this thing basically was haunting people. And you could hear the people gasp when this yeah. thing came out, like, holy moly, <laughs> <laughs> what is this, right? <laughs> this is like out there. Yeah. And however, moments later, people started to order these things. Like they ordered the Cybertruck, yep. like within the first week, 250,000 yeah. orders, like yeah. more than that. Like, That's amazing. Like, so, so he really basically created something new. It became very pop culture. Yep. And that is a disruptive force. So he used it in a positive way. But you also have things, that brands being destroyed yeah. pop culture. by like, doing something like that. Too. Right, yeah. look at yeah. like Harvey Weinstein, right? Yep. He was the most powerful guy in mm -hmm. Hollywood. And he was like, for 30 years. Mm -hmm. His brand was basically, bomb. Yep. power, yep. I have got it. And then one article yep. in the New Yorker, yep. and this was over. And then his over, company yep. was over. Yep. His, it, it was like his existence was kind of like very different yeah. after one article. Yeah. Not just his, but a lot of other brands as well. And that, I think, is the point we are at. Like, that, that culture changes more dramatically and faster than technology. Same with Facebook. Think about Facebook, like basically yeah. powerful, and they all, they just apologize for something. Yeah. But then this privacy thing happens. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, yeah. the public opinion of Facebook is a very different one. And what about your brand? Is your brand soon being hit by something yeah. that overnight yeah. will basically position it as the bad guys? No, the good guys, maybe from this video, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so in terms of that, in terms of that, um, that pop culture and that that strong belief you have, like as the the co-founder and you know the leader of Core Media, how do you bring that back to you know that belief and you connect that to the business and the message and the vision that you're really painting for you know the company itself, but then also the industry? Yeah. So one thing is that it's it's in that world. Yeah. Values are crucial. Yeah. Your attitude, yep. because we basically make choices, choices about uh, values. Yep. Like when I buy something, when, when someone buys the cyber truck, he wants to say, hey, I'm the future, I'm, I'm for new things, I'm progressive, I'm, I'm for the environment and all these things. Mm -hmm. And I'm basically I'm for, I'm for people who are crazy, basically yep. who do something else. <laughs> or if you buy uh, um, like something else, yeah. it is always a value judgment. So especially the brands, who are brands, they communicate more than just the, the convenience of the product. It's, mm -hmm. it's basically a meaning that you have. You buy this brand for yep. Nike, not because you have a shoe. Yep. There are cheaper shoes. Yep. You buy it for something that is for a company. Yeah. So the value of the company is crucially important. And Nike did that with, uh, with Colin Kaepernick. Mm -hmm. Like that move was to install, to instill more kind of like meaning into the brand Nike for the new generation. Yeah. So. And something that's common through these kind of brands or not, not so much moments is this idea of being iconic. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to me about, talk to us a bit about that. So for, for Comedia, it's, it's partly this, for the first, for the other question, yeah. right? this thing of living in the future. Yeah. So the future is it's yes. much more relevant yeah, yeah, than yeah. we believe because it's hitting us faster yeah. and more intense yes. than we can imagine. Yeah. So like, you know, you can create a company out of nowhere, like mm -hmm. Kylie Jenner. She created a company, and it's a billion dollar company mm -hmm. with seven people and four part-time people yeah. and, and an Instagram account. Yeah. So that is basically yeah. you know, moving at the speed of culture because yes. she is part of, part of pop culture. And a lot of other brands do that as well. IKEA, in a way, is pop culture. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, uh, yep. and, and everyone knows them, right? Yeah. And, uh, so if you want to be pop culture, 
You have to stand for something. Mm -hmm. You have to tell a story. And you have to be different. You can't be just bland like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And what we realize now is that that strategy to really stand out and, mm -hmm. and even be provocative in a way, because yeah. not everybody likes you, yeah. is a powerful strategy in the world we live in that has a lot of connectivity. Yeah. Because if it has meaning, it will resonate. Yeah. And even if people hate you, it's hardly better yeah. than people don't care about yeah. you. So, talk, so you, you mentioned Elon Musk and the Cybertruck moment. So, so walk us through, you wrote, wrote an article around that recently. So talk us through some of the steps towards that moment. And then also, there was very much a reference, obviously, of the design of Cybertrucks back to a pop culture moment as well. Yes. Yeah. So the thing about Cybertruck is, yeah. what's fascinating for me is yeah. how much it polarized and instantly. Mm -hmm. Even though he had told the world yeah. what he will do. Yes. Right? He said, oh, yeah. it will be right out of yeah. Blade Runner. And it is, right? It, it, it could right, be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the designer in Blade Runner yeah. who did that he said, yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it fits, right? So he told us what he will do. He did it. And people didn't believe this is that true. That it was going to come. Yeah. And why is that? And I think it is because a lot of friends tell these stories of, oh, it will be as amazing and, mm -hmm. and groundbreaking and totally new. But it isn't. Because, you know, we discount stuff that brands tell us mm -hmm. because we don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. And he did the opposite. He basically told exactly what he was doing and he did it and people were like, holy moly, <laughs> this, is, this is insane. That was one thing. Yeah. But the other thing is, like, it was perceived as a big disaster. Like, oh, why didn't he basically create a Cybertruck that is normal? Yeah. Like, a normal truck. Like, a little bit Tesla, yeah. but normal. And then the window thing as well. And then the window yeah. thing as well. Like, yeah. oh, God, oh, God. Like, basically, yeah. the, the stock market said, oh, <laughs> this is basically a disaster. Yes. Like, nobody will buy this. And for me, it was clearly in the, in the moment that, yeah. oh, man, this is so good. This yeah. is like, this is like. And his authenticity in terms of his response right. as well. How, how yeah. he basically lived with, yep. the, with the mistake. Yeah. How he also basically was willing to break the expectations mm -hmm. in a positive way. Yeah. So he didn't give people what they expected or what they wanted, mm. but he gave them something better. Yeah. So even this kind of design that he had, yeah. this is a completely not what we basically see yeah. on the street ever. It was, at the end, meaningful. It was even smart mm -hmm. because this design enabled him to make this truck much cheaper mm -hmm. than the normal trucks. Yeah. Because like a normal F-150 yeah. with, with six seats is more expensive than this thing. So, okay. Yeah. And then you get, you get a version that is faster than the Porsche. Yeah. So basically, he's willing to attack these iconic other Both products. Both of those, yeah. Both yeah. of those, yeah. at the same point yeah. in time. Yeah. 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 And create something that nobody needed, yeah. but that everyone loves or hates. Yeah. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah. Then the second thing, he, basically the way he handled the, the mistake, right? Mm -hmm. This like breaking the glass. It, it, it helped them as well, because everyone was talking about yeah. it. And he didn't try to basically fulfill some expectations. Yep. He went to a place that was completely new. Yep. And, he, and he said earlier, okay, if people don't like it at the end, we might build a more normal truck. A more sensible or normal looking. So, yeah. however, this thing here, this truck, is in line with the other products. He, mm. he always did something that was so new mm. that people were like, oh, that is wrong. Mm. Like, what? You have a car driving with batteries? That's laughable. Right? Yeah. And then, okay, it works. So you have a car with just one screen. The Model Three, like, what is yeah. this? Yeah. Nice car, but the, the interior is crazy, yeah. it's stupid. Like, can't you do it normal? Yeah. And then now that's the new normal. Yeah. But now the outside of the car, the way it it's, looks, is what's been challenged. Yeah. How will you react when you are BMW mm -hmm. or GM or Ford? Yeah. Will you now build a Cybertruck? Yeah. That is not believable, stick right? to them, yeah. you, you can't do that. Like, if you mm. are Ford, yeah. you can't come up with that car. It, it's a, so he's jumped ahead again. Yeah, because yeah. it's authentic. Yeah. He, he's a gamer and he's yeah. in this pop culture. So he could do it. But for the other brands, mm. it's impossible mm. to copy right away. Mm. So it's really differentiating. It's like for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So how, how, like, not everyone's Elon Musk. You know, not, not yeah. everyone has the... The, the, the platform that he has and how he's uh, what he's set up around Tesla as well as a brand already in, in, through what he's done over time. H how does a how does a you know a, a, a normal brand, if I can say that, a non-Tesla brand, think about you know moving at the speed of culture and taking it taking an opportunity that might present themselves at you know the Super Bowl. You know, as we've seen in the years gone by, like how, how do you set yourself up to be ready for something like that, to, to really be iconic and to move forward like that? Yeah. So one thing that is interesting, the more you try to avoid mistakes, yeah. you know, clean, sterile, yeah. 
the more every little mistake yeah. they basically hit you in the face. Yeah. So, <laughs> but if you are more human, yeah. if you basically have someone like Elon Musk who basically yeah. does stupid stuff on Twitter, then making a mistake mm. is not that relevant anymore. Or when you are like Donald Trump, like he can do a lot of stuff yeah. and it's, it's not affecting him anymore. Yeah. Because he is basically authentic in, in where he is. So, you, so, so translating that, you mean thro throwing yourself out there as an authentic leader yes. and being comfortable with those mistakes. Taking yep. risks and basically yep. just gonna accept the fact that you yep. screw up and, and live with it and, yep. and how you handle it. Yep. And not pretending to be perfect yep. it's a, gets you far. Yep. But then the second thing is this playfulness. Yep. Like, you know, must like, everything is pop culture there, right? Yeah. The names yeah. of, of, and the dial to 11 yes. and, yep. and, you know, landing rockets. Yeah. And it's all pop culture. Yeah. All this like spaceman yeah. in a Tesla going to Mars. <laughs> it's completely insane. But normal brands can do that as well. Mm. Like uh, Ikea has this, uh, you know, Knut. Yeah. It's basically this thing of uh, after Christmas, and then oh, yeah. you throw out the, yes. <laughs> yes. out of the window. Yeah. And they celebrate that, right? Yeah. And they basically play with that idea. Yeah. And it's, it's great. And yeah. I think more of that is yeah. a good idea. The next level, though, would be what if you react to what's happening? Mm -hmm. So this example that I like is, um, is Burger King. Yeah. There was um, this famous tweet by uh, President Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, about the hamburgers. Oh, yes. Hamburgers. Yes, yeah, the, spe right? the, sp yeah. Uh, the spelling. The spelling, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it was funny. And then, but then Burger King came and said, you know what, they later, um, we are out of hamburgers. We only have hamburgers yeah. because of a big order <laughs> yesterday. And so everyone was laughing, 500,000 yeah. like, likes yeah. and retweets and, and yeah. a, lot of, a lot of content created yeah. by the people. And that was for one tweet. The tweet, the tweet, like yeah, nothing? Like, nothing. Like a, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of yeah. like, creative. A little bit of thinking there. And However, yeah. that was attention. What if mm. been, it would have been much better is, what if you basically had put the hamburger yeah. on the screens in the Burger King stores yeah. for not $3, but for 10 mm. I, I can guarantee you, like a lot of people, a lot of millennials, that, yeah. would have bought a hamburger, just bite it, and take an Instagram, and, 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 and yeah, this is yeah. my hamburger moment. <laughs> totally, right? Like, you, you can play with pop culture, and yeah. it's hitting us every day. In a good and a bad way, right? Yeah. Like, when you look at the NFL, yeah. there's one tweet about the protests in Hong Kong mm -hmm. that was deleted. That was basically threatening a billion dollar business. Yeah. So, it will hit the brands. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So you will have to live with the fact that basically what you do with it, you can't control it. No. So better start playing with it, being yeah. playful and being yeah. easy. It, it, yeah. And as you go learning as well, but yeah. obviously looking for those moments that really do push the brand. Right. Forward. And you have to be authentic. Right? Yeah. You can't basically fake it. No. Yeah. And no. that's the thing why why Elon Musk gets away with a lot of yeah. stuff because for him that yeah, we, yeah. he's crazy enough to yeah. do that. Yeah. The existing brands, that's the biggest struggle they will have. Yeah. To how do we compete with that? Yeah. Especially organizing, like how do you how do you propagate authenticity through a team that yeah. sometimes has process and control and sign off? How do you kind of relinquish that yeah. to a point that allows for speed and you know right. moving at the speed of culture? Right. right. And then there are even yeah. B two B companies yeah. that seem boring, but they yeah. aren't. Basically, we have the company Emerson, right, yeah. as a customer, and yeah. they have. Facebook pages for yes. a uh, drum with a lot of wire on there. And yeah. So basically, you mean, so they, yeah. they go to all these places yeah. and that's fun, right? Yeah. Because there are people who care about yeah. this and they, they like that. Yeah. So why not do it in a fun well, way? Well, that, that was a question I was going to ask because you know, it, it, on, on face value, most people would say it'd be, it's easier to be iconic and move with the speed of culture if you're a B2C brand. Right, because you are selling to the culture and to you know end consumers. Whereas from a B two B perspective, like you said, like it's sometimes perceived not as you know um, opportunistic in the right. same sense. Because the perception yeah. is yeah. it's unprofessional to yes. do that. Yeah. But I would I would question yeah, that profession. Like it's the same thing. You know, nobody at trade yeah. shows runs yeah. like these colors. Yes. Right? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. But if you do, yeah. you have only positive. Like, yes. Everyone remembers Feedback, you. Yeah. The guy, the guy with the purple yep. uh, uh, sweater. Yep. And, and so. Breaking the rules mm -hmm. in a in an inter interesting way, it gets you far. Nice. So, yep. and I think that's that's basically what we breaking can do. the rules is the yeah yeah because yeah. there's so many rules that are ridiculous. Yeah. Why do ha we, man have to be basically black and dark yeah. gray yeah. and yeah. dark yeah. blue? Yeah. Why, yeah. why is that the only option? Yeah. Right? So like, look at your nice shirt. It I looks know. great. There you go. I've had a few comments today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. So and and being irrelevant, yeah. being forgotten, yeah. that's the problem. Yeah. Being interesting. Yeah. So in a way, what Elon Musk tells us is everything is entertaining. Yeah. So someone said, well, 
Tesla is an entertainment company yeah. that happens to sell cars. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what, how they monetize. That's how they but get, yeah. it is an entertainment company. And you could see it that way. Basically, the mind share that they have yeah. with their iconic brand globally for years is everyone is talking about yeah. them. But they don't sell that many cars, actually, compared with General Motors. And well, so, so in terms of that, so sales and let's, let's talk numbers and what, you know, you, if you move at the speed of culture and you're being iconic, you know, how do you, what, what, what does that bring? What value does that have to the business? So and get, and, the, and yeah. then the tricky question for you, how do you measure it? So the first one is like, you get a lot of yeah. attention yeah. and relevancy yeah. and basically even fans for free that you can't buy. Yeah. So the, the engagement that you reach when people love your stuff because basically it's entertaining yeah. is much deeper than when you basically put ads on it. Yeah. Right? So you, you, can't, you can't buy that kind of advocacy. Well, it comes back to authentic, authenticity as well. Right. Yeah. So they identify more with your brand yeah. and they also, you have like, the attention that Tesla gets every day yeah. for one tweet yeah. that you send them yeah. is, is more than you can buy. <laughs> yeah. You would not be able to afford that. But yeah. like it's, it's billions and billions yeah. that you don't have to spend. Yeah. So in a way, he's much more profitable by being iconic. Yeah. The same, same with Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner, yeah. she sells lipsticks and eyeshadow. It's not that the products, I think they are not that different IP. Different. Yeah. They are, she's great because she's iconic. Yeah. She tells a story and connects with the young girls mm. and the women. So, in a different way than yeah. a normal brand. Yeah. And that is powerful because that created a billion dollar company yeah. like with seven people selling 300 million. So we're getting to the point where you don't need marketing teams anymore. No. We just need you, need, you need great storytelling. <laughs> but the truth is yeah. like the story itself yeah. is the key thing yeah. because we human beings love stories. Yeah. We love to, to, to retell stories, we love to share stories because that's mm -hmm. defining who we are, like the stories that we tell. Mm. And so I think marketing, a lot of the stuff is Oh, replacing wow. that with oh let's force it let's basically yeah. make you see it yeah. and, and that we come to the point with social media where that is just a failing strategy you can't afford to do that yeah. because someone else is doing it cheaper by being yeah. iconic so, te so tell us a story now yeah. tell us a story about 24 months time from today yeah. you know what's, what's the buzz what's the, what's the next thing what's, 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 the, what's the future so the future. So the, the one thing that is basically happening yeah. for a long, long time is yeah. humanity produces more and more content mm -hmm. faster and faster. Yep. The culture is therefore changing faster and faster. Yep. So it's like it's this rapid change uh, like Me Too or Black yep. Lives Matter and yep. many many of these yep. things. Or now Greta Thunberg, right? Yep. Like she like yep. was not known to anybody a year ago. No. And now basically everyone around the world yes. knows her. And yeah. we have hundreds and thousands of people on the street in a yeah. single city, but many, many cities at the same point in time. Yeah. So that is what we are leaving. We will have powerful symbols changing the world faster than ever before. You have more content to produce and consume every day. Mm -hmm. And you will have basically the whole surrounding that we have, mm -hmm. the cities, yep. the stores, yeah. everything will be screened, everything will be communicating with you. So it's, it's basically normal yeah. to have interaction with technology all yeah. the time yeah. and, and see great stories. And the, all that stuff will be suddenly personalized. It will yep. be a little for you, your yep. language. Yep. It will be basically funny entertainment because the boring stuff will die. Yeah. The good stuff yeah. will stay. Yeah. So it's like the, the experience like when you now do other streaming services, yeah. right? Great. And there's so much <laughs> awesome content, right? It's, it's, it's very is. different than yeah. a while ago yeah. because the standards will go up. It will be like a hugely entertaining experience mm. to basically buy B2B products. Yeah. It will be great yeah. in, in 24 mm. months. Like, I love will, it. You will have brands that pop yeah. up out of nowhere yeah. and you will have big brands that die yeah. because they don't connect. Yeah. Because they are, you know, they are not like, maybe Greta Thunberg, they, they don't like that story. Yeah. And, and, but the rest of the world likes that story. So like, yeah. you're just kind of losing it. Get ready. Yeah. Zoran, thanks very much. Thank very good. Love it.